no matter which way you vote or whatever your religious beliefs are, the one thing that we can agree upon is that America is falling. Today, we're going to talk about the why and the how. But before we get started, please do me a favor. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to hit that bell notification so you know when I go live or when I upload new content. I will preface this video with somewhat of a parable. There are a group of kids being bullied on the playground by a bully by the name of Abraham. A member of that group of kids being bullied offers to do another bully's homework by the name of Joe. Joe sees these weak kids as useful, so Joe offers them protection. So now that these kids have Joe's protection, these kids that were once being bullied by Abraham are confident, and now they feel safe on the playground. Now, instead of just existing on the playground and going about their day, they now goes to taunting Abraham, cracking mean jokes, sometimes even going to Joe telling him that Abraham is picking on them. When Abraham was just minding his own business, Joe beats Abraham up and makes Abraham apologize to these kids for things that he's not even doing any longer. Joe isn't teaching these kids how to stick up for themselves, for he'd be useless and even would find himself as a victim of these kids that he's using. He actually discourages these kids from learning how to fight, but he does encourage them to keep picking on Abraham. So these kids continue to taunt Abraham, and even after Abraham apologizes for bullying them once in the past, they just don't want to let it go. So now it's the end of the school year. Joe gets to go to the next grade because of all of the hard work that these kids had done while doing his homework. So Joe doesn't need them anymore. Joe leaves early on the last day of school, leaving these kids alone on the playground unprotected, along with Abraham. Even though it was wrong for Abraham to have bullied those kids before, now Abraham is pissed off that he was beaten up on those many of days. With the teacher's in the teacher's lounge, celebrating their last day, the kids are left unattended on the playground. So we can only imagine what is about to become of these kids. So that is the story of how America will end. America started off in an oppressive state. It progressed further and, and marginalized people made friends with the liberals. The liberals are Joe in the story. The conservatives are Abraham. Both of them are bullies. Both of them don't care about those weaker kids. They just wanted power. Joe observed the, the efforts of these black, brown, and LGBTQ communities as he encouraged them to put down their weapons because they only had his protection and that's all they needed as far as they were concerned. He encouraged them to continue to uh, viciously attack Abraham. And when Joe didn't need these the resources that these kids offered anymore, he left them defenseless. The kids will never be the ones holding ownership to the playground as Joe promised them. And when they did, uh, and when they did have an illusion of ownership of the playground, Abraham was there to viciously take it back and pay it back for all of those troubled days that these weak kids had given him. Little did they all know that there were a group of bigger and tougher kids that wanted control over that playground. And when those kids came to the take over the playground, Abraham, along with those weak kids, were S-O-L. These kids refused to team up with Abraham to make an attempt to take back their playground. And I think we all know how this story ends. I'm Ricky Manor of the Melanated Rebel News Network. Please be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Share this video out. And most importantly, leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know your thoughts.